guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share about our road trip we are going on very shortly. I've mentioned it on my Instagram account, but I haven't really shared about it here. So I wanted to talk about it, where we're going, what we're doing, and also what we're packing for our family in the car. So I hope you guys get some ideas. And also I wanted to make this video to get some recommendations from you guys too. So we are making a trip from California all the way to South Carolina and our route has changed a few times over the course of the past few weeks. We've kind of narrowed it down. Whenever we were talking about this to our friends or family, they would ask, you know, like, what's the destination? And to be honest, there really isn't, there is a destination, but Andrew really wanted to make this trip because he has always wanted to drive through all these states and just see them and experience all of them. So it's more about the journey than the destination. And then another trip we'll make down the road, we wanna do a little bit more of like a Northern route. Right now it's more of the Southern way. He convinced me to go on this trip because he was like, we could end in Wilmington. And if you guys are One Tree Hill fans, Wilmington is where they shot One Tree Hill. And I am a, both Andrew and I are very huge One Tree Hill fans. And so I instantly was like, okay, I'm down. <laughs> And so there's a bunch of walking paths, walking tours in Wilmington to see all the different sites and shooting locations there. So I've kind of got five different spots that I would love to go see and take pictures at. And I think it would just be super cool. And I've just heard really great things about that area and how people just really love it. So I'm excited to see that. We actually are not gonna stay in Wilmington. We're gonna stay in South Carolina and then we're gonna drive to Wilmington for like a day trip and then go back. We're gonna be doing a ton of driving. Uh, this past fall, when did we go? Yeah, no, it was November. We made a trip from here to Carson City and it was like at least 10 hours. I'm trying to think how long it took us, but we stopped a bunch along the way and the kids were really, really good in the car. So it just made us realize like this is a perfect time to make a trip like this because they're just very easy in the car right now. Nobody's in diapers. Nobody. What was I saying, Andrew? How they're at like such a good age. I don't know. They're pretty low maintenance right now, I feel like. Um, and for all of our hotels, like the girls will share a bed and then Owen sleeps in our bed pretty much every night anyway. So he'll sleep with us. So we won't need to pack and play or anything. So it just seems like they're all at a really good, fun age to make a trip like this. We're starting here and we will be First, driving to Flagstaff, Arizona, spending the night there. And then from Flagstaff, that's gonna be our biggest um, trek to Oklahoma City. I think it's 10 hours. So we're gonna make a ton of stops along the way. And it's so funny, Violet was like, uh, this sounds fun as long as we can stop at gift shops. I'm like, we'll stop at gift shops. So we're gonna go to Oklahoma City. And then from there, we're gonna go to Memphis and we're gonna go to Graceland, which we weren't planning on doing originally, but as we were kind of like trimming things out, I was like, I I would love to go there. And actually the kids love Elvis. So I think it all started because we watched the new Elvis movie. Andrew and I were just fascinated by Elvis after that and watched so many documentaries of his life and we're listening to him nonstop and I was just, I think growing up, I always thought of Elvis as like a caricature, you know, like this Vegas guy in all of his costumes and getups. And after I watched many movies on him, I've just been like, my view of him has changed so much. I'm just so impressed with one, his talent and just the impact he had on music and just hearing everybody who knew him talk about it, it's just so interesting to me. And so I think it'd be really, really fun to go there. And I think the girls will really like it too. So we're gonna go there. And then from Memphis, we are going to be going, I think we go from there straight to Charleston. Spending the night in Charleston in the morning, waking up early, driving to Wilmington for the day, having our day there to see the sights of Wintry Hill go back to Charleston, because there's a lot to do and see in Charleston. We thought more so than um, in Wilmington. So we'll be in Charleston for like a couple days. And then going back, we're gonna take a little bit of a different way. We're gonna go to Birmingham on our way back, Jackson, Mississippi, 
Dallas, and then Flagstaff and home. So that is our trip. Um, I'm actually really excited. At first I was kind of just nervous and I'm just going into it with just a positive outlook and just seeing how it goes. And it's just all about the experience and I'm excited. Today I went to Target to get a bunch of snacks and things like that to keep in our car. We're taking Andrew's truck. And then I went to the Dollar Tree to get some stuff. I've also picked up some things from Amazon along the way just to kind of have things entertain the kids. And then we will be taking Andrew's laptop because he needs to use it for work anyways, but we're gonna use that to play DVDs. We'll just put the laptop on the center console. I did order two new DVDs for the kids. The first one is season one and two of Bluey. They love Bluey so much. And honestly, Andrew and I love Bluey. It's so funny. So I got that. And then I got this, it's the 20 Incredible Tales. And they're all these PBS shows. And I had them pick out movies so that we have. So they picked out Beethoven. This is like the collection of four. They love Beethoven. I got My Little Pony. Oh, and picked out The Land Before Time. We have Strawberry Shortcake, the classic, classic Strawberry Shortcake. Where did I find this? I think I got this at the library. Like we were able to buy it. It's the Merry Christmas one. And then we have Trolls. We have The Greatest Showman, which I'm happy with that pick, and Barbie Swan Lake. So those are our movies we are taking. Actually, and I do want to bring Little Rascals. That's always my favorite to have on a long trip. A few little activities. The first, I got this off of Amazon. I'm sure you guys have seen these things. The girls had one too, um, but I got this one just to have for everyone to play with. You can just draw on it and you just click this little button and it erases it. So I thought that'd be a fun little sketch thing to have. And then I found these at Costco. We were there last week. So each of the kids picked one out. Owen picked up the Spider-Man one, of course. And these are actually super cool. So it has a whiteboard marker. There's a bunch of different tracing things that come in here, little drawing things. And then at the back, there's coloring pages. So we'll bring like a couple baggies of crayons. I also, I thought I ordered them some like travel color pencils, but those I haven't gotten here yet. And then there's stickers in the back too. So, and it's kind of nice that it has this little handle here. So I like that. And then the girls each picked out the princess one. Same thing. So I thought those were neat. It says it retails at uh, $18.99 and at Costco they were $11.99. So if you guys can see these, like a fun thing to have for an activity. And then I also got these ones off of Amazon. I haven't shown them these ones yet. I thought it'd be nice to have a few things that are a surprise. These are called a Magical World Sticker Activity Book. They had a bunch of different options on Amazon. So you get the reusable stickers here and then you can just kind of make, you know, little scenes of things. I thought that was pretty Cute. I got the girls the same one because I didn't want them to fight over what I picked. And then I got Owen the Animal Habitats one. And same thing. Those are just like a fun little thing to have. I went to Dollar Tree today and I got three of these. These are the um, Color of the USA. I thought this would be perfect. It's a double-sided map and we can color all the states we go through together. So I thought that'd be kind of fun to bring to like a restaurant or something. I could keep these in my in my bag for them. So I got those. Um, I got the girls each one of these little notebooks just to have little journals to write whatever they want. And they're cute. They come with little stickers so they can each have their own little thing. They love just like jotting down things. And then I also got all the kids one of these little notebooks pads and I thought it'd be fun because they have like rainbow pages and then we're going to bring some gel pens for them to have. Um, I'll also show you something. I got this organizer to put on the back of one of the seats so we can put all of our stuff up there. These are these little flashcard with letters. These are super wide. I own one of those so I thought why not. And then these I just found. I thought these would be nice for the girls to have. These grippers for their pencils. I used to love these like in junior high. And then Oh, and wanted this calculator. So we got this calculator. And then my friend just gave me a couple of these for all the kids. They're like these little, you pull them and push them. They're like these little pipe type of things. So we've got those to play with 
to. Okay, I'm gonna show you a couple of supplements I'm bringing with us and then we'll get into some snacks. So we were watching some videos on traveling and a lot of people are saying how it's hard to get like good food for all your meals. And so it just made me think like, we gotta be upping our supplements as we're tra traveling. Also last night, Andrew and I both got a scratchy throat. I feel totally fine today but I wanna have a few things with us just in case because that would be so unfortunate if we got sick during this trip. So this is my favorite thing for um, your throat. It is called the Throat and Gland by Nat Natura Health Products. I got this off of Amazon. And anytime I feel any type of tickle, I spray this in my throat and it helps so quickly it says supports lymphatic system and immune response so i absolutely love this definitely would recommend it it's very minty and strong fyi and then the beekeepers naturals is another great thing it's the um, propolis immune support daily throat spray so i'm just going to spray this in my throat daily just to kind of keep me keep me healthy and i'm also going to be using this on the kids as well i use this on them um, now too. Okay. And then for my Mary Ruth's organics products, I'm going to bring these three. These are like the trio of supplements that I give to the kids on a regular basis. The organic vitamin C drops. This is awesome. I have backups of actually all three of these on hand all the time. So vitamin C drops are a must. And then the vitamin D3, it's the mega dose. So, and I use these two, not just the kids. And then the this is the organic kids zinc, the ionic zinc. So these are just great to have because they're so easy. I put these directly in their mouth. You can also put them in juice or water or whatever. But for me, I just we line up the kids up and it's like little chicks. We give them their little droppers. So you can still use my discount code. It is active. It is Kendra20 and you will get 20% off your entire order at Mary Ruth's. So if there are supplements that you guys need to stock up on, you're running low on, definitely take advantage of that code because you're getting 20% off site wide. And I just, I have gotten so many things from their website and everything is just really great to have in our medicine cabinet arsenal. It's really, really handy to have all those things on hand and we love them so much. So I'll put a link for that down below for you. Let's move on to snacks. So I got these. I actually had this bin. I have this bin in green. This is from Target and I love it. We keep it outside for toys and our balls. So I wanted something to have in Andrew's truck bed. He has the cover. So we're just going to stuff the truck bed with everything we need to bring. But I wanted to have some sort of containment for snacks so we know what we have going on. And then I got a big thing of water bottles, some Gatorades and some other drinks that I'll share with you too. Okay, so first I got us some bagels. The kids all like these and they like that they have protein in them. They're the Dave's Killer Bread Cinnamon Raisin. So that, I got some unsweetened dried mango and a big thing. Love that has a zip top so we can seal that up. I also got, these are the Good & Gather brand. The unsweetened dried apple rings. I thought some dried fruit would be a nice little snacky thing. These are also a great thing to have in the car for road trips. The chickpea snacks. I get the ranch kind. They're super good. They're really yummy. I wanted to get, I don't usually love to buy individually pack items because I feel like it's a waste of packaging. And then I was thinking, well, I'll just buy like them in a bigger thing, but I would end up putting them in baggies anyways. So I'm using this plastic no matter what. So I ended up just going for convenience and buying some individually wrapped stuff. And that's why I went to Target because I feel like they have a lot of that type of thing. Whereas Costco is where we were gonna go and all of their stuff is more like a big bulk bag. So I thought this would be easier. And the kids would like to just pick out their snacks. So after I share all this, I'm gonna Put, unwrap it all and put it in the bin so you can see how I have it laid out. Okay, we got some Annie crackers in here. I have the Cliff Z bars. I love the protein ones and also I can eat these. These are gluten free. I got some strawberry fruit snacks. I don't buy fruit snacks anymore. I usually just buy them if I, it's more like a treat now. So every now and then I'll put a few in my diaper bag in my purse and if we're like in line somewhere or whatever it is, where like we need something to keep people entertained. I like having some fruit snacks. Two of these cereal bars. They all love these. I feel like that's a good thing to have on hand. 
the cinnamon, apple kind, apple cinnamon, and strawberry. Some That's It bars, I love these. This is the apple and strawberries one. And we have the apple and mango. These are just pure fruit in here, nothing else in there. We have a bunch of pouches. I got the apple blueberry beet, two of those. I wanted to get the ones with veggies because who knows what we're gonna be eating at sometimes if we're stopping at uh, gas stations to get things. I'm I'm hoping that we can actually find some decent restaurants along the way. Like I'm, I definitely do not be just eating like junk food the whole time because I will feel like crap. Um, we're wanting to just stop at like fun places along the way. And then I got one of these big ones of the apple spinach and the apple carrot. Probably won't go through all of these, but we'll see what I can fit in here. Uh, Lara bars, these are great. They have dates in them. They're gluten-free. What is in here? Uh, cashews, dates, chocolate chips, vanilla, cocoa butter, really good things in there. And I also got some fruit strips. Another thing that like the kids just enjoy having these. It's fun for them. So I got that. It's a big pack. You get 48 strips in there. And then I got a few things of crackers. I love these from Simple Mills. They're the um, almond flour ones. This is the sea salt. These are the cheddar. We have a big old thing of rice crisps, veggie straws. And we have puffs. So more snacks than we've ever had in our life. And one other thing I want to get before we leave is a big thing of cuties, some tangerines to have something fresh because it's a whole lot of packaged food. So that's my one thing I'm like, we need to get fresh food. I was like, oh, we'll just stop it and get like our, like a fresh juice every now and then. Then I was like thinking, I don't think where we're driving is going to have juice places. So we're going to have to uh, improvise and just get what we can. is and I saved half over here so I'll put all these in like an actual bag seal that up and so on the way back I can add those in activities over here and then they're each probably gonna bring like a backpack with some stuff this is a thing I had for Owen it's for like milk bottles and it's a little oh, you don't have to use it. I got it for milk bottles but now we just use it as a really cute little ice chest so I'm gonna put these in here and I probably will bring like some Advil and a few other things that I can stick in here okay two more um, this is a must my gluten enzymes because there's definitely going to be a few foods that I'm going to want to be trying, so I want to have this with me. And then these systemic enzymes are something you take on an empty stomach. And these just make me feel like more regular when I take them. If I'm just off, like my body feels off, these kind of just make me feel much, much better. And they're just great for like immune health, just a lot of things, digestive health. So 
I'm gonna take those with me as well. I also got some of these buy drinks. I love them. The coconut are my favorite. I got a six pack of that. And I then a... these on the Okay. Sounds good. Um, I got a four pack of coconut water. The girls love coconut water, so I thought that'd be a nice thing to have. Um, also random, I went to Home Goods. I got some kitchen towels. Thought those were nice. And I got this for my makeup. I wanted to show you guys how I have my makeup organized. It's in a basket like this, but it's a little small. So I wanted something a tad bigger. And this one already has div dividers. The one I have is just open. So I thought this might work better. Oh, I got a lot of laundry to do still before we leave. And I also haven't finished filming our bathroom tour, but I will do that soon too. So here's the one I currently have. And then here's the size of this one. So first I need to make sure that it fits. Okay, it just barely fits. But I like having something soft rather than acrylic because it's like nice when I drag it, it doesn't make a loud screeching noise. And then when I do my makeup now, I just bring it up here and do my makeup right like that. It's much better, way less packed. So now I have foundations and tinted moistures, tinted moisturizers, <laughs> concealer here, all of my like, eye products here, eyeliners, mascara, eyebrow. These are smaller things, so I love these RMS Beauty. Um, I got the Living Luminizer and it's just so pretty. I have it on my cheekbones all the time now and it just gives like a really nice, like awake, dewy look, it's really pretty. And then the bronzer is also really nice. It's the Beriti, oops, sorry, Beriti Bronzer. And I just do like a couple swipes around my face and just blend it in with my flat top brush and it makes it look really natural and nice. And a couple eyeshadows, I have this uh, MAC for my eyebrows, charcoal brown, and then I also use this a lot for eyeliner, just my MAC Carbon. This is the Pi um, Luminizer, which is really nice too. And then over here are all my compacts product, compact products. So I have the Ilia bronzer, the Kosas bronzer, my Alima Pure powder and highlighter. I just got this Honest Cream Blush that I actually have on today for the first time, which is really natural. And then my RMS powder blushes. So that's everything in here and it's really nice. So. I'll stick that in there, like barely fits, but that's perfect. And then I keep my eyeshadows in this guy up top. I just have the two Urban Decays Did you give me right there. Decay no, sorry. Another thing we found, let me see it one. Do you know how to do it? Do you guys remember Simon? I found a little mini one. Okay? Thought that'd be fun to have in the car. And this is the back of the seat. It's cute, right? Yeah organizer for the car. You can, put, it says you can put like an iPad here. We probably won't use it for that, just for other stuff. But I thought it'd be good for like pens and pencils and all their little things. This you can fit like a drink in there. So yeah, I think that's pretty nice. So I'll put that in the car today. The hard part is the weather is all over the place. There's rain, there's a lot of humidity, warmth. So I feel like I kind of have to pack for all seasons. I mean, not summer, but I think I'll do like a lot of light layers. I'm gonna bring my uh, like black waterproof, like rain jacket, my puffer. I'll bring like yoga pants, some sweatpants, some comfy jeans, comfy shoes, just like com <laughs> I wanna be comfortable. Um, so yeah, I should probably start figuring out what I'm gonna pack, but I would love if you guys could leave some recommendations down below for either things to pack or places to go along the way. So I know I kind of shared like our points of interest. So if there are any um, restaurants, coffee shops, whatever it is, things the kids would like, let me know in the comments and I can just refer back to this video. It'd be super helpful and just fun for everybody to check it out. I'm gonna end the video here because I have a whole lot of cleaning to do. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I will be documenting on my Instagram along the way, so definitely follow me if you guys wanna see all of our stops. I will also be vlogging, so I will do a video 
after the fact. And I thought it'd be fun to, for me and Andrew to do like a, maybe if you guys have questions about, we could do like a little Q and A or tips that we kind of picked up along the way it would be kind of fun. We're just like recapping the video, recapping our trip. So anyways, that is gonna be it for today. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys all very soon and wish us luck. Okay, bye.